OK, so this is Wednesday, the 6th of November, 2019, Barvember problem. Whitney has £265 and Nancy has £180. They each spend the same amount of money. Whitney has twice as much money as Nancy left now. OK, so in the so we've got two situations, a beginning situation and an end situation. And in the end, Whitney has twice as much money as Nancy. And we're asked how much money did they each spend? OK, um, right. This questions like this actually can be quite tricky to think about how to model because an amount of money goes missing. And it, it can be a bit strange to think about how to represent this. But actually, the most important thing in this question to bear in mind, and once you've realised this, it makes it a lot easier, um, is that the difference in their money is going to remain the same. Let me explain. So Whitney in the beginning has £265 and Nancy has 180 OK? And the difference, OK, is 85 All right. They each spend the same amount of money, OK? So the difference in the end situation is going to be the same as the difference in the beginning. OK, they'll have a different amount of money. You know, Whitney won't have this amount. She'll have less money and Nancy will have less money. But the difference between them will be the same, £85. And once you've got that firmly in your head, then actually the um, the the model is easier to draw and understand. If you if you haven't consider that then when you look at a solution it can be difficult to understand right so let's have a look so we've got Whitney and we've got Nancy and what I would um, zoom in on as it were is this end situation because this is where I can draw something because I'm told Whitney has twice as much as Nancy so I'm going to let's say draw well, let's say that this is what Nancy has. OK, that's Nancy's amount. And this is Whitney. All right, this is what Nancy has at the end. And this is what Whitney has at the end. OK, now what we could do is we could um, we could just ignore actually the amount of money um, that was spent because it's not there anymore but I'm just going to add it in here I'm going to say that this okay is the amount of money that was spent all right and that's how big it is and this is going to be the same size okay because that's the amount of money that Whitney spent okay and what do we know so this is the beginning situation. Let's have a look. So at the beginning, all right, Nancy had this amount of money, which was 180. Forgive me, not doing pound signs. OK, and at the end, at, sorry, at the beginning. OK, this is what Whitney had, which was 265. OK, and the difference between 265 and 180 is 85. OK, all right. So that's the difference between this original amount that Nancy had and the original amount that Whitney had. OK, all right. OK, so I'll grab a different colour here. Let's have a look. If we take the same amount away here and the same amount away here. All right, let's bring this line down. The difference between these two is also going to be 85. Does that make sense? OK, so we know that this is 85, which you can see it makes it clear that one of these blocks all right, is 85. We know that all of these blocks are equally sized. I should have said that at the beginning because we're saying Whitney has twice as much as Nancy. OK, so these are all equal size. Um, portions. So if this is 85, then this is 85, this is 85, and this is 85. OK, I hope that makes sense. Now, if we have then a look at this bar, we know that 
this part is 85 and this whole thing is 180. Now it's not done to to scale clearly because I just put it was an arbitrary line that I put in here but it it still is helpful. So if this whole thing okay is 180 and this part of it is 85 then this must be 180 take away 85 all right which is 95 okay so this is 95 and if that's 95 then that's 95 does that make sense okay so this is how much money did they each spend it's 95 pounds okay i hope that makes sense um despite the fact that it's not sort of drawn to scale um, but that uh, hopefully shows how a bar model could be useful for such a question